Hey, hey, it's okay, okay. Back again after a long Thanksgiving break. I think it's been a whole week since I posted a video, and I hope uh, since then you've been having a good Thanksgiving and uh, you've been just enjoying life. Uh, let me uh, first start off by getting down to uh, commissions I'm working on. Uh, you can see in front of you right now, I've got a uh, commission I'm working on, this uh, Naga Sea Witch Transformation. Um, working on coloring this thing right now. I uh, have a different, couple of different variations that I did for the commissioner. Uh, it got uber confusing, so I'm glad that uh, that is done with. And next is to do a big boob, a big boobed version. <laughs> so uh, you can expect that. Um, I had also put up a poll on my DeviantArt profile to see what kind of commissions you guys wanted to see added to the gallery. And the winner of that poll is now Weight Gain. And you are in luck because I am working on a commission of Weight Gain. And you can see right here, it is a Star Wars commission. Uh, this is Hera and Sabina. So we're doing a weight gain, Hera and Sabina, both uh, big chubby, chubby women. Um, and with the new movie coming up soon, what is that, like two weeks now? Um, the Last Jedi is coming out on December 15th, and I'm excited. I know a lot of you are excited because we are Star Wars fans and nerds out here. Star Wars geeks, I don't know what the term is. is. Are you geek? Are you a nerd if you like Star Wars? I don't know, but uh, <laughs> you might just be uh, one of the many, many, many millions of people who like Star Wars. And I am have, having like this celebration for Star Wars by posting a poll on my DeviantArt website, our profile page. Let's pull that up right here. And the poll, which I just put out, we'll see how it's doing, is what job would you take in the Star Wars universe? Uh, Jedi, a pilot, bounty hunter, Sith, Je stormtrooper, musician, smuggler, ATAT -AT driver, uh, lots of fun choices. But I'm going to be putting up Star Wars polls um, probably one every couple days until the new movie comes out just to have fun and to get excited for the new movie. Um, in case you're not excited enough already, uh, I've heard good things already about the movie. Um, and if those things are any indication of how it's going to be, it'll be a really great, uh, good looking movie, really fun and exciting one. I hope I might be watching this a month from now and saying, oh my gosh, I was so wrong. But, um, from what I've heard, uh, you know, the, uh, the production, uh, the executives and stuff, they've seen the movie and they liked it so much that <clears throat> they gave Ryan Johnson, the director uh, of this Last Jedi, uh, I, maybe he did most of the writing, I don't know, but they uh, liked the movie so much that they put him in charge of writing and directing an entire trilogy of Star Wars that doesn't involve the Skywalkers. So. Um, that's pretty impressive, I think, if they liked it that much. Um, I think that says good things about the movie. It's a good sign. So, um, here's, uh, to expecting a good movie. Um, I am a little worried by some of the toys that have come out that they're advertising that it's going to look stupid. I think that the red, uh, red guard people look ridiculous and awful so I would hope that the um, people who <laughs> design those guys uh, don't design any further people in the future uh, I always th thought the new stormtroopers looked pretty stupid too the first order stormtroopers I really love the death trooper and the classic stormtrooper so I just wish they could have gone a little bit more in that route and not tried to um, do a uh, abstracted version of a stormtrooper helmet. Uh, I think the accurate description is uh, the guy wanted it to look like a Mac version, like an Apple, Apple version of a stormtrooper. I think those are his exact words. 
and um, yeah, I never really liked Apple, so <laughs> that doesn't really help my uh, kind of distaste for Apple products. Um, I had an iPod Shuffle once. That thing lasted about uh, a month before um, losing it because those things were designed to be lost. <laughs> they're like little, they're like the size of a quarter and uh, they just have these little flimsy like um, things you're supposed to stick on your shirt and uh, with the earphones, if anything tugs on your earphones, it pulls your iPod off and yeah, those things were just meant to be lost. So um, yeah, I think that's probably why they discontinued them. <laughs> uh, so tis the season for diseases. Um, cough, 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 <laughs> sneeze. Uh, wait, how does that go? Cough, 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 sneeze. <laughs> um, I hope uh, you're staying healthy and uh, avoiding contact with people who are sick. Uh, I chose not to um, <laughs> because uh, I guess my nephew got sick and so we're picking we picked up whatever he got um, and I might sound a little bit sick uh, because I am uh, but I'm taking a like a Tylenol cold and sinus thing tonight uh, I took one earlier today but that was a mistake because even though it's non drowsy that thing knocked me out like hardcore I felt like I had been uh, put under am anesthesia for surgery when I try when I tried to get out of bed after taking a like a four-hour nap I I've been under anesthesia enough to know like what that feels like and goodness I was like cannot I felt so heavy it felt like a tra I've been under like given tranquilizer or something it was crazy um, have you ever done K uh, that's what it felt like <laughs> And um, so get yourself some Tylenol, cold and sinus, severe, if you like to feel that effect. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We got like uh, some a bra strap here. Maybe it's a bra strap. I don't, yeah, I guess I'll say it is. This right here is from Tales from the Crib Keeper, issue number seven. Uh, I just finished up Tales from the Crypt Keeper Halloween edition or Halloween issue. Um, it is up and available for purchase. Uh, if you swing over to my DeviantArt profile, you can find it down below uh, my ID. Uh, there's a, a little thumbnail of it. Uh, or just click on another video that will take you to the Halloween edition. Um, this is Tales from Crypt Keeper issue seven. Um, let's see, there's going to be uh, age regression, there's going to be pregnancy, there's going to be unbirth, there will be um, age regression with mental regression and age regression without mental regression. Um, I think that's gonna be it. It will be a shorter issue. Uh, we've done uh, the Halloween costume. We've done Tales from the Crypt Keeper Halloween issue. And now we're doing um, Tales from the Crypt Keeper issue number seven. So we've done a lot of uh, Tales from the Crypt Keeper type stories. And next we'll be moving into Blue Planet, the last issue, number three. Uh, if you haven't read or um, caught up on your Blue Planet, uh, it is about blueberries and weight gain, uh, boob expansion, shrinking, all that kind of uh, universe. So it's different than the Tales from the Creek Keeper universe. Um, but it's uh, going to be wrapping up uh, in January. Um, after the new year, uh, I'm working on trying to get Tales from Creep Keeper number seven uh, out and available by Christmas. Um, if uh, you're looking for something to buy with all that Christmas money you get, 
hopefully this will be the best way to spend your Christmas money. Uh, well, it's not going to rob you of all your Christmas money. It'll be a cheaper than usual com uh, comic. Um, and uh, if you are looking forward to it, then be sure to keep in touch. I'll be sure to post another video next week or sooner. Um, and be keeping up with my DeviantArt polls on Star Wars. May the Force be with you, and I will catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that like button if you want to, and subscribe for more notifications. Thanks, and catch you later.